Oh boy, I've gone insane. Pfft, YOLO, more like roll over my right. <laughs> Am I fired? People with trypophobia. Ah, uh, yeah, just existing. And then Apple comes along holding an iPhone 11. Allow us to introduce ourselves. I can't believe we've peaked as a gaming society. You could dress up as Sans Undertale and Smash Ultimate. What? Yeah, you gotta be careful when pronouncing IKEA furniture, or you may accidentally summon an elder god. Not, not, not speaking from experience or anything. Totally not. So while I was on the road, I came across a restaurant that was just called Steakhouse. Nothing else. And I don't know why of all things, that just made me giggle a little too much. And then, it got better. So let me ask you all something. What are OCs, if not just imaginary friends we sometimes give tragic stories to? Guys! The word bimbo! The term was originally used in the United States as early as 1919 for an intelligent or brutish man. Not only does this create absolutely glorious mental images for what 1919 was like, the word bimbo itself went through bimboification. Okay, but now imagine bringing that back around and then using it in the wrong quotes to cause hell. For example, et tu bimbo? So I have a dumb idea. It's a DNA test, but it's a list of names the internet uses for basic people. Well, we got it back. Turns out you are 35% Chad, 15% Kevin, and a whopping 50% Sharon. Those are actually pretty good. The lady down the hall, 100% Karen. Yo, I need to know the proper stance for a squat lift again. Oh, are you getting back into power stuff? No, it's it's for artwork. What? Oh, I've gone, yeah, I've gone crazy. I'm gonna go to bed. But before I sleep, I just want to say one thing. Spoilers to Endgame, by the way, but I mean, who hasn't seen it, am I right? Steve Rogers went back, started a whole new life, but still wanted to help kids be better. So we made the TV persona, Mr. Rogers. Good night!